Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Now it's time for Sunday afternoon football. Today, back at the Adelaide Oval. It's a pleasure to welcome Gary Lyon. Hi, Hunter. I've been waiting for this match all week. Well, today it's Adelaide versus St Kilda. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The key today is that St Kilda forwards can keep the ball inside 50 and get enough repeat entries. They give themselves every chance. sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the cheer squad's hard work is paying off the banners are looking great the captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss and Kilda winning the toss these lineups look very strong and both teams look fired up and set to go the fans of both sides are waiting this one and here we go it's Adelaide taking on St Kilda fighting hard was Phillips pushes off the tackler Thompson with the opportunity. Off the ground, she's kicked the goal. She sinks her first goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. She's kicked the first goal. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about there. We're back in the middle to resume play. Thumps it clear. Practicing some fancy moves. Puts on a bump. It's a free kick for the Saints. Chose to kick it. Intercepts the ball well. Foley uses it by foot. A good mark under the circumstances. Van Hagen sends one up towards the wing. Phillips with a drilling ball. Marking in space for Tramey. Decides to kick. Jones going for number one. Campbell making her way onto the field. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Lucas Rod goes with the kick. An easy grab for Drennan. Uses it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Looks to move it by foot. She's got the football now. She can take off after that handball. Goes by hand. Receives the handball and takes off. Tips it towards half forward. Cramey couldn't keep her hands on it. It just gets the journey and it's a goal. She sinks her first goal. Get some reward for her efforts. Adelaide with the edge right now over St Kilda. Umpire ready to resume play. Cramey just slaps it down. Phillips made the tricky bounce look easy. Opportunity once again for Adelaide to put one through. Going for goal number one. Adelaide, 13, leads and killed her. Zero. Phillips assessing the options. 
Guthrie takes the mark. Gets a hand to the ball. The ball mopped up. Is accepted. She just throws that ball. Keeps the kick low. And the mark will be paid. Sinks the slipper into it. A race for the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. Thompson sends the drop punt on its way for another goal. Smiles all round. The Crows, Kovacs and Kilda, both 19. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. We're back in motion. Punched away. She has the ball. Just put it on the boot. So Watkins and Kilda do with this opportunity in front of goal. Allen takes the mark. Uncontested. Goes with the kick. Foley. Campbell's dishes it off to a player on the run. Thompson doesn't take the mark. Applying the physical pressure. Charges with intent. Contests the hard ball. Hits her hard. A mighty effort from there, and it's a goal. Munn puts her first goal on the board. She's really enjoying that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It's great to watch her have plenty of excitement. The game is back underway. Swats it. Here's Marinov. Sends it clear of the contest. Good grab there from Colson. Might be too far out to score. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Marks now and can send it back. Uses it now. She takes the mark. Lucas Rod kicks it. Found space for an easy mark. Great grab. Penetrating handball. What? Dismisses her opponent with disdain. Takes that one strongly. Carlson kicks out of the congestion. A chance to put one through here for St Kilda. Big kick required from this distance. Gets into some space to mark this. Moves it quickly. Puts it on the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Adelaide are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Nice mark under pressure. Puts boot to ball. Terrific mark there. Slams it on the boot. Marked by Marino. Got boot to ball. Lost concentration for a moment. Watt slips high and gives away the free kick. Chose to kick it. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Elects to kick. Puts on the afterburners. Gets the loose ball. This is it on. Takes possession. Exxon going for number one. And she's missed. St Kilda produced the margin. Allen considering the options on the kick in. Decides to kick. Quickly onto the boot. Found a way to keep balance. Mules with quick hands. Gets a quick kick away. Strong mark in the contest. With a driving kick. Finds this one all by herself. Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Gaz. Adelaide deserved this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this.
Anything to add, Gaz? St Kilda are finding plenty of the ball in space, but they're struggling to convert it to scores. If they can improve their ball use, they'll be right in this game. Cheers, Gaz. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. McKinnon won the hit out. Sweeping handball. Kelly just put it on the boot. She takes aim. Mung missed everything. Kick goes astray, and it's out on the full. Goes by foot. Van Hagen marks in a bit of space. The Crows have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Phillips won herself a free. Moves it by foot. Open opportunity for Foley. Adelaide are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Hatcher earns a free kick. Picked up by Thompson. Thompson was taken high in the tackle. Looks up with the kick. Great mark under pressure. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. That's something to smile about. Cramey loves that goal. The margin is 18. About to resume play. What thrashes it? The ball bubbling around. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Foley gets on the end of this. She spears the ball. I haven't seen her for a while, guys. Yeah, she's barely touched the ball, Hunter. A free kick to the Crows. Oh, what a hanger there. She doesn't want to let her teammates down with this shot at goal. 45 metres out. About to take the kick. Slight angle. She can put it through. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. She celebrates hard after that. Adelaide have kicked the last two goals. The Crows stretch the lead to four goals. Doing well was White. Exxon couldn't complete the tackle. Spent that one before she earned it. A time to celebrate. Her teammates rush over. Now they lead by 30. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Adelaide have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. The Crows need to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hit-outs are getting cut off too often. Moves the ball by foot. Marks all alone. This is a short handle. She can take off after that handball. Just gave it away. You can see that happening right after it left her boot. Adelaide with a handy break. They lead St Kilda. 38 to 7. Does well to keep it in play. We'll have a ball up close to the boundary line. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Mann takes the mark. A spearing kick. Good body work to win the mark. Driving kick forward. A chance to reload the attack now. Johnson determined to reach the ball. Considine gets on the end of that handball. The ball ends up with Centenary. Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Decides to soccer it. Considine collects the loose ball. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Considine kicks it out of bounds on the full. Marinov now heading off to the bench for a break. St Kilda would love to make the most of this opportunity. A tough chance from here. I agree with you there, Hutto. 
This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. St Kilda now only trailed by 30. Adelaide have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Hatchard wins the ball in the air. Puts it on the boot. A big contested grab. Adelaide just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside field. Foley has a great set of hands. Uses it by foot. The mark has been taken. Ratchet going for number one. Marking in space for Jones. 20 metres out. Going for goal number one. The lead is now 31. Weighing up the options now. Watt plays it to herself. That kick goes out on the full. McKinnon with a chance to line up for goal. Might be too far out to score. A goal from this spot is unlikely, but it is possible. Good call, Hutto. She heads for home. Through for a rush behind. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Ends up turning this ball over. 40 metres from home. Looking to kick goal number two. That's a big let off there. That would have been a big goal. Adelaide lead is now 33. Adelaide have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Marks now and can send it back. 45 metres out. Ratchet pulls the trigger. That kick hits the post. Adelaide with the edge right now over St Kilda. What? Weighing up the options now. Good mark and looks to send it back. 40 metres out. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Hits the post, and it's a minor. 35 points the difference. What to bring it in? Half-time arrives. Gary, what are your thoughts on the first half? Adelaide have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? St Kilda have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Thanks. With so much on the line, I'm looking forward to this second half. Players back on the field to begin the second half here. Thrashes it. He's in her possession. It's a turnover. Randall turns a free kick. Puts boot to ball. Doing well to intercept that kick. Releases by hand. Intercepted by Drennan. 
Licks with hands at full stride, receives the handball. Kelly won herself a free. Sinks the slipper into it, takes it well. The Saints fans would love to see this one sail through. 50 metres out. Sedinary going for number one. A drop cut through the goals and delivers with a desperately needed goal. She acknowledges the crowd. St Kilda close the gap to 29. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. She did really well there and gets the reward. Center bounce. Punches it clear. The ball spells to Kelly. Hacking it out of there. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Decides to kick. It's marked by Drennan. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Adelaide forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Allen throws the ball away. Takes the mark. Campbell decides to play on. Lee just throws it. St Kilda fans would love to see this one sail through. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. That goal is a cracker. They get around her after that effort. Finding their way back into this one. Back in the middle now. McKinnon just swats it away. Considine throws the ball away with a driving kick. Sheer spills it. Foley puts on a big hit. Hands that ball to the opposition. Carlson kicks hurriedly. She finds herself in space and marks. Going for goal number two. Drop part straight through the middle. She loved that one. They have all the momentum at the moment. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Cox now able to release the kick. Well, now it's a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Randall was taken high in the tackle. Moves it by foot. The ball mopped up. Movement by hand. Just gets it onto the boot. Mann wins the ball in the air. Got boot to ball. A chance to reload the attack now. Adelaide crew allowing too many marks inside the opposition for 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Does well to cut off the kick. McCarthy love kicking that one. St Kilda have kicked the last four goals. St Kilda behind by 11. This is how they can score big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. St Kilda are getting beaten around the contest. Rectifying that problem is key to them gaining control of this match. Kelly having an impact again. You're right, Hutto. She's an absolute ball man. Intercepts the ball well. Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. A chance to reload the attack now. Wants to keep it moving. 20 metres out. This shot should be elementary from here. She takes aim. That one will really lift them. She's absolutely loving it, and why not? The time to celebrate, and don't they get around McCarthy? Oh, there's nothing in it. That's a really good team goal. St Kilda are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help them. Receives the handball and takes off. And the umpire will ball it up. The players will be feeling it out there. Thank you. 
thump clear. Lucas Rice soccer's the kick. Finds the loose ball. Considine hacking it out of there. Radzic with the opportunity in front of goal. Going for goal number one. So close, but just a behind. The margin is six. Looking to bring it back into play. A good mark under the circumstances. A stab kick from Carlson. Ends up marking uncontested. Drives the kick hard. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Nice mark under pressure. Chose to kick it. A chance to gather the ball. Allo gains possession. She just can't get out of the action. We'll have a ball up close to the boundary line. Thrashes it. It's going to be deemed as deliberate. Phillips coming onto the ground. Now with a low spearing kick. Takes a strong mark. Moved on by McKinnon. Finds a target. Elects to kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Goes with the kick. Campbell presents and takes the mark. Goes the long option. Johnson ran it best. Will get a stoppage. McKinnon with the punch. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Kick by Considine. They chase after the loose ball. Guthrie just threw it. Jones doesn't want to let her teammates down with this kick. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. <laughs> Going for goal number one. Spills the mark. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Gets around. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores, Adelaide 44 to St Kilda 38. Adelaide will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? St Kilda have struggled to get the ball forward or centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beaten. Thanks, Gary. One quarter of footy to go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Hammers it with the ball now. Bit too casual with the tackle. With quick hands. Tough ball to handle. Ball gets cut off. The ball spills free. The kick releases the pressure. Goes for territory. She gains the possession. She gets her hands on the footy. She's put it through. Thompson getting the crowd involved. Adelaide by 12. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Back with another centre bounce. Punched away. Johnson onto the ball. She can't hold the mark. Dug it out. She gains the possession. Slick with the hands. She can take off after that handball. Showing some really good pressure there. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Just gets a boot to it. Lucas Rod goes off the ground. Marinov will be the recipient of the free. Drives it long. Easily takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Looks up with the kick. Thompson marks in a bit of space. Adelaide, Colonel, 
showing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. The handball now from Chia, taking a nice grab. This well within range. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. Jones going for number one. Pretty happy with that one. Adelaide with a three-goal lead. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. And we're back in motion. Kramey thumps it forward. Cox sockers it forward. They can create from this. The drop pass sails between the big sticks. Smiles all round. That's three in a row for Adelaide. Adelaide by four goals. The game is back underway. Swats it. She's got the football now. Gutter it quickly onto the boot. McCarthy uses the body well. Good opportunity for St Kilda to put a goal through here. Picked up under pressure. Marinov couldn't snaffle it. Johnson wins the foot race. Advantage is taken. She puts it out on the full. Moves the ball by foot. Worked hard to get on the end of that. The Crows have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. The kick from Van Hagen. Jones just gets a boot to it. Considine suckers at home for a goal. Celebrating hard. The Crows have kicked the last four goals. Now they lead by 30. Thumps it clear. Try to avoid everything out there. At full stride, receives the handball. We'll have another ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. One it down. Wins the race to the ball. That one rams into the post. St Kilda, now only trail by 29. Allen to kick it in. Plays on from the kick in. Drives the ball out of defence. Ball spills. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. Well, now it's a ball up. Guthrie won the hit out. Ball up close to the boundary. Clears the contest. A good job keeping it in play there. Couldn't go on with it, and the ball goes out. Ball tossed back in. Gutcher, it's thumped it clear. Hatcher on the ball. Hammers it. Dug out the loose ball. Foley hits her hard. Gutcher, it's here to mop up. Or oh, someone's on the ground. Gaz, can you tell us what you saw? Well, the doctor will have to take a look at that one. It does look serious. Doesn't connect with the kick, and it'll be coming back. Stabs at the kick. Ball off hands. Missed the target. Goes wide from behind. St Kilda, close the gap to 28. Assessing the options, plays on to herself. Looking to rebound with this kick. Doesn't take the mark. Hurry kick. Looks like there's an injury. Difficult to see her coming back on after that. Man puts another one through. Gets some reward for her efforts. St Kilda behind by 22. That's a really good team guy. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot.
Adelaide are forcing the opposition to give it to the open player. They aren't allowing them any room to move forward. Adelaide are getting beaten at the coal face. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give themselves the best chance going forward. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Gets it away. She has the ball. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. St Kilda reduced the margin. Teammates break for her. Cramey plays on. Uses the bump. Hatcher, hurried kick. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Great mark in the pack. Looks to move it by foot. Marked by Drennan. Decides to go. Couldn't snap on it. Just goes bang. Hits her hard. She drives it towards goal. Pretty happy with that one. Adelaide leaps and killed her. 74 to 47. Center bounce. Thrashes it. Uses it now. Drennan decides to soccer it. Cramey gurns a free kick. Chips it towards half forward. Gathers it now. An opportunity for a third goal. A drop punt through the goals. She's excited about that one. The lead is now 33. Back in the middle now. Guides it down. Showing control was Foley. The umpire calls for it. Kelly with a big fist on it. The game never reached any great heights, and it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. Gaz, what did you make of the result? Just a fantastic performance from Adelaide. They really put in the hard yards, and they can enjoy the result. The final scores of the match are Adelaide 12, 8, 80, to St Kilda 7, 5, 47. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.